All right, I just got one of those calls from a lender that you do not want to get. Yeah. This is the first time you're seeing my face. This is Natasha Bazil with Nat Knows Real Estate, also sold by Nat. I am a real estate agent in Georgia. You'll be watching this on my Nat Knows channel. And over here on this channel, we talk about all things real estate career related, including the ugly side of real estate, which this this video may be leaning on that side. I'm I'm praying, I'm hoping and wishing that we get a save on this one, but we are gonna be talking about the real and real estate on this topic today. So yeah, we are gonna be talking about maybe, maybe the ugly side topic today. Uh, but yeah, real estate is not all glitz and glam. It's not all easy. It can be beautiful, but what you see on these reality TV shows and, and social media profiles, that it is not that way all the time. So let's go ahead and get into it. I had a story to bring you from yesterday and then I got this call today. So we'll start with the call that I got today. Well, right now, I'm just tell you, well, let me tell you, I just came from getting a facial, right? Yesterday, my mom and my daughter got facials and they came out looking refreshed and glowing. I came out looking oily and irritated. Like this is the look after I wiped off my face, but my skin is just special. So hopefully the inflammation will go down. Um, but she did a great job. She's awesome. It's my, my skin, my skin. Like I have friends that they would just say like, my skin is special. You scratch me, I whelp up. I just, I get irritated easily, sunburn, all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, so facial, I just left a new construction community. Went to do a progress check. Not a lot going on in there besides they pay the roads. So I'm gonna give my clients that update. And now I'm headed to do a virtual tour for some out of state clients, which that's story number two. But got an unexpected call from a lender and a tech saying that we might be in some big trouble on this one because I have buyers on a home. Everything looks like it's going great, which I'm glad she gave me the heads up because she's like financing contingency ends on Sunday, which I, I have, I'll be honest with you, I have been in straight vacation mode. So I have not even written that down in my planner. I know my TC would have sent out a reminder, but it, it just wasn't even top of mind. Because as far as I know, like we, we've been good. Like we're good, we're solid. This wasn't even something that was on the top of my mind. So golly, it's never a dull moment in real estate. Wow. So with these buyers, repeat clients, Man, I, I, I need this to work out for them. I need this to work out for several reasons, but I really need this to work out with, for them because she she started as a rental. Like back in the day, a rental, she might've rented twice with me and then bought her first home. And now she's ready to buy her bigger home and her and her partner were gonna buy the home together and then he loses his job. So she's like, okay, I'm gonna do it in my name. So she's already gotten over a hiccup. And now we're facing another hiccup with some late child support payments. And they're like, now it's 60 days late. And they're like, okay, well we can't count her child support income. So she's like, my lender, like she's a goat. Like if there's something to be figured out, she's gonna figure it out. But she's like, listen, we're heading on vacation. And it's gonna be like five hours before I get to the condo and I can really sit down and try to figure this out. But I wanna give you the heads up, which I appreciate. So yeah, just got that call. But the even suckier part, if this doesn't work out, is like this is a dual sale because this buyer is also selling. So if she can't buy, is she gonna still sell? Like, and I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole, but I just wanna express it to you guys. Like, the time and effort that has gone in, like, Thankfully, they are sweet people to work with. They are all, like I have been guiding them through the process, which is, which is my job and my role here. But like, 
I have been putting in the work and the effort in this. And then I've been doing that while I've been away on vacation, making sure things get done, you know, so then I, like, I, I need these closings to come through. That's why you can never count anything until it actually closes in real estate. All these years in, still with these lessons. So that's number one. That's story number one. Send up a prayer for me that this closes. That by some miracle, something happens and this closes. Which gets me because, not even gets me, this whole lending process, she's putting down 20% from the sale of her home, but the whole qualification piece, if they can't use her income, then she don't, she's not qualified for as much as she would be. I don't know. I'm going to leave it to the lender. I trust in my lender. <sighs> okay. Story number two. Story number two and trust your gut. Yesterday, I was annoyed. I was annoyed because the same out of town, out of state clients that I have wanted to see a property. The first time I tried to schedule the property, um, I just so happened to be near the property. It was like 40 minutes away. I was like, cool, I can get in. Let me see the property. I'm four minutes away. Schedule to do a, um, a preview. I showed them screenshot and like, hey, my client's really interested. They have some questions. The seller denied it. I'm like, okay, cool, fine. I won't be saying the preview from now on. Maybe that's why they denied it, right? I drove by still and looked at the exterior and I saw a car in the driveway. So now I'm coming for the showing that they approved and the same car's in the driveway. But okay, whatever. Maybe one drives a car and they leave another car home. Would it be the first? So I get there, I ring the doorbell. I always ring the doorbell. A guy comes to the, to the door and he's like, oh, they my agent didn't tell you and I'm like no he ain't tell me well, tell me what oh yeah I, 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 I need to cancel the showing what like I he's like yeah he's just saying something about how he has some stuff going on and such and such I'm like sir I drove 40 minutes here now he doesn't know this but I have my mom with me because and I do that when I'm able to because you know sellers don't prefer sight unseen showing so if I'm able to I'll bring somebody with me so as far as they know the buyer was with me so us, we are standing out there and he's like yeah and I'm like well is the house available is it not like are you withdrawn like what what is it and he's like well yeah essentially the house that he's buying the due diligence ends today and if they don't work things out then he may have to withdraw the house and such and such but he'll know by noon I'm like sir I drove 40 minutes over here he was like yeah I told my agent he should have told you so a couple of things I had already gotten flaky from him the first time he canceled the showing because in this market in this day and age when the seller wants to sell they're gonna accommodate a showing right but I was like all right fine it was a preview I gave him like an hour notice maybe I give him a benefit of doubt but when I showed up for that showing and even more we're standing in front of you and you denied the showing and most sellers will be like, okay, you're already here. Come on in. He didn't do that. I was like, not only are you giving me flaky, you're also giving me prick and inconsiderate. Um, so yeah, he did not let us in. I called his agent. He didn't answer. I was like, please call me because I just showed up. Blah, blah, blah. He called me back. He apologized. He said he's sick in bed. And yet his seller reached out to him this morning about withdrawing. I'm like, well, is he withdrawing or what? He was trying to explain to me how the seller's buying a house and it has some owner financing in it. And if it doesn't go through, he's gonna have a hard time finding another one and such and such and such and such. Again, like I said, my gut was telling me flaky and also inconsiderate. And yeah, like I was supposed to hear from them today. I was like, well, if anything changes, let me know so I can get the show in, you know, in, get it done. So I never did hear from them. And I was okay with that. And I'm going to tell you why. With all that I told you, like, in my gut, it told me from what that felt, what I got from that seller already had already told me, like, dealing with him in a transaction was not going to be fun. He was going to be the seller that, he gave me prick. 
he was going to be the seller that didn't care about inconveniencing people. It was going to be about him. He just did He would not care about anybody. And that, I just wasn't interested. Now, granted, had they called back and the, the my clients were really interested and wanted to pursue it, I would have went. But I never heard back from them. And that's where we left it. And that's where it's going to be. And now I'm heading to another show. And so, like, trust your gut. Like, read the signs. Read the room. To me, I'm passing my friend's listing. She is a listing queen. All right. So, yeah, I'm headed to this showing. Was that it? Oh, yeah. So, that's how the day started out. Then I had an appointment. It was what I counted. That canceled. And I was just feeling off. And I was like, you know what? Instead of trying to fight to stick to what I had planned and go with the day. Today is not a day. I'm going to, I'm gonna read the room of how this day is looking and I am going to. So yeah, those are the two stories that is, this is, yeah, truly the ugly side of real estate. So yeah, they waste, wasted my time, 40 minutes driving there and essentially 40 minutes, yeah. But part of real estate part of real estate. I hope you are doing well. I may include some of this tour for um, these buyers. I'm gonna sign out here. I think, stay tuned that there might be more. I'm not sure. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it. Uh, yeah, have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. Don't forget to check out the podcast.